Hi guys, Alex here from Drayton's, here we've got Skoda Kodiak, 1.5 TSI ACT SEL, finished in quartz grey metallic paint. All of the wheels and tyres are in very good condition. These are 19 inch Sirius alloy wheels. At the back you get an electric tailgate and being the Kodiak it does have seven seats. Uh, two of which as you can see are folded down there to provide a massive boot um, if you do have those two seats up then you do still have a reasonable amount of space um, and there is unlike in a lot of vehicles somewhere to store the parcel shelf as well when you're not using it which is a nice feature and as you can see more storage underneath there as well so you can either have the um, seven seats configuration um, or the five seat configuration you can have six as well if you prefer entirely up to you um, this car has got MOT until August 2024 and will come with a good service history uh, last service September 2023 we have the lovely leather Nalcatara seats uh, really really nice quality some of my favorite seats in any car um, you've got a good bolts on the side and the base to keep it in place and the Alcantara stops you sliding around and it's also very nice um, touch in as well. Really nice quality seats. Up front you've got your rev counter on the left, speed on the right and your digital screen in the centre. Currently showing a digital speedo but you've also got your average speed, fuel range, that sort of stuff on there. You can edit all these as well so you can take some off and add some on, it depends. Uh, what you want on there uh, then you've got your assist system so you've got uh, cruise control speed limiter and front assist then you've got your nav your radio media your telephone your vehicle status and back to the driving data on there on the central screen this is the home page uh, so you've got your uh, sort of view everything at the same time you've got your nav here um, your radio media and your telephone there uh, then you've got your main menu on here uh, which does have gesture control indicated by the little hand there um, so you can sort of swipe without actually touching the screen if you fancy you can turn it off as well if you don't want that on uh, we've got DAB um, radio you've also got FM radio on there as well you've also got Bluetooth connectivity for phone and music and also smart link for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto so you can have your own phone screen on the screen in the car if you prefer just to have your calls and your music coming through then you can just as I said connect via Bluetooth but if you want everything on there like your Spotify Google Maps Apple Maps then you can uh, connect via USB and they'll be on there for you um, you do have uh, built-in nav uh, which is nice and easy to use nice and clear uh, nicely detailed and you can change the points of interest and things um, but like I said if you are connecting via Apple CarPlay or Android Auto then you can use whatever preferred mapping system you fancy um, on the vehicle info you've got all your settings for your parking sensors that sort of stuff uh, your instrument cluster so you can change the um, data on here as I mentioned earlier uh, then you've got your service info on here so you, you can see when your next service is due you will get a reminder close to the time whether that be due to the mileage or the time constraint but if you want to keep an eye on it then you can do that on there as well uh, moving down we've got your climate control um, so you've got a temperature for the driver and the passenger you can sync them both up as they are now um, so when you change the driver the passenger will change as well or you can have them separate uh, you'd also have heated front seats or your directional controls and a heated rear screen there as well on this row here you've got your engine start stop you've got park pilot so you've got front and rear sensors with the display that will come on automatically when you put the car into reverse but you can turn it on and off by pressing the p button there and then you've got your central locking button there as well down here you've got a little cubby hole under here you've got 12 volt socket and a usb input which will need to be used for carplay or android uh, then we've got a dsg gearbox so you've got a standard drive mode and you've got a sporty setup for the gearbox in standard drive it is so more for efficiency whereas in sport mode it will hold the revs a bit longer and optimize it more towards a sporty performance feel um, and then you can use it manually um, if you fancy as well by knocking it to the side and then you will get little m instead of d or s on there and then you can change gears using the shifter up and down in standard drive you get a little d in sport you get a little s uh, then we have your stability control your electronic parking brake hill hold assist and your drive mode selection so you've got eco normal sport and individual on individual you can change various things to suit your own personal preference uh, so you steer in your drive um, and your aircon as well 
Um, so if you fancy setting that up, then you can do and pop it into individual mode and it'll be set up for you. Uh, then we've got a couple of cup holders in this removable section here. Um, so you've got cup holders, a place for your key um, and some more storage behind there. You can flip this over and it will just be a tray table or you can take it out completely, but it is useful having the cup holders in there and it gives you somewhere to pop the key as well. Uh, you do have a split glove box as well, so you've got your large glove box in the bottom with CD player uh, and SD card slots, and then you've also got um, a little hidey hole in the top there as well, if you wanna use that. Uh, two separate buttons for those. Uh, door bins are a very good size and they are lined with felt, so if you've got stuff in there, don't rattle around too much. Up front, we've got a nice laid out steering wheel. On the left hand side, you've got your track skip volume controls, and on the right hand side, you've got all the controls for the driver's display, as well as your assist system shortcut, um, and the button for the menu on there as well. On the left hand side, on the indicator stalk, you've got your cruise control. On the right hand side, you've got rain sensing wipers, automatic lights, and heated and electrically adjustable wing mirrors with electric fold as well. Um, you do also have an extra little cubby hole here as well if you've got any loose change or anything like that. Uh, not that anyone carries change nowadays. In the back, um, the centre row, you've got ice fix anchor points on the outer seats. You've also got a fold down central armrest with a couple of cup holders in there and a 12 volt socket as well as uh, storage pockets behind the front seats. And then if we fold this forward and slide that down then you can see the back seats just there. Um, so it's a great family car, um, nice and comfortable, nice and easy to live with as well. Even though it is a big car, it doesn't feel massive on the road, which is always nice, especially if you're not used to a vehicle of this size. Um, it's well specced, very comfortable, nice quality interior, so all good all round. It will come with six months gold core warranty, which can be extended for as little as £199 for an extra six months. We also have a range of finance options available, so if finance is something that you're looking for, then we can help you out with that as well. If you need any more information on this car or any of the other cars we have in stock, please go to drayton's.co.uk. Thank you.